morning and win forever. I felt today very strong to read for you this scripture. And this is a scripture that so many of us have read and you have read it. And if not, someone has read it for you, you've had a sermon on that scripture. And this is a very, very wonderful. So today I got an inspiration to get into this book in a different way that I know God would really want to talk even to me. Jonah chapter 1 from verse 1. Now I read this scripture so that we can get something. Now, the word of the Lord came to Jonah, the son of Amittai, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and call out against it, for their evil has come up before me. Take note of that word. Their evil has come up before me. But Jonah rose to flee to Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. He went down to Joppa and found a ship going to Tarshish. So he paid the fare and went down into it to go with them to Tarshish, away from the presence of the Lord. So he thought he can run away. Now, this is the time that he thought maybe God was only in that particular place. So he was running away from the place to go to Tashish, believing that in Tashish God does not exist there. Verse 4, but the Lord hurled a great wind upon the sea, and there was a mighty tempest on the sea, so that the ship threatened to break up. Then the mariners were afraid. Each cried out of his God, and they hurled the cargo that was in the ship into the sea, to lighten it for them. So they thought it was the overweight of the cargo that made the storm so unbearable. They never knew. Jonah knew. Because down there, if you read so fast, you will realize now Jonah discovers he is a problem. Now, before I go ahead, I want us to discuss one thing. The presence of the Lord and the escape of a mission. Now God comes in and talks to Jonah. My son, I want to give you an assignment. Go to Nineveh. That's the location. So God has a location in this place. The location of assignment. But then, Jonah being sent to Nineveh decides in himself, now I'm not going to Nineveh. I'm going to Tashish. So he wants to bring in his ideological difference. He thought now God is doing something I myself didn't give him permission. Now, God can change everything in your life according to how you take his instructions. I know I'm talking to so many people now that has received instructions from God, maybe not directly or somehow indirectly and it's like you don't want to take heed of anything what i'm talking about is very small that when god issues instructions he's serious with them everywhere you go when god does not command it he makes sure he brings obstacles in the place so after jonah realizes that he was to be in Nineveh, not Tashish. The storms were raging. Okay, let me just continue reading from verse 6. So the captain came and said to him, What do you mean? You sleeper, arise. Call out to your God. Now, the mariners, we, are, we don't have their track history of their relationship with God. Not anywhere in the Bible written that the mariners were worshippers or rather they were people on pilgrimage or they were people who went on a mission on a certain place. No, we just get this scripture rolling here that the mariner now asking everybody, keep praying, everybody to pray. That means they had reached a moment when even the people who are non-believers can see 
the need to have God on board. And that's the place where I am. I'm talking to you about that. When nothing seems to be making sense, you need God on board. When nothing is working to your favor, you need God on board. But this time around, needing God on board was just to remember the assignment he sent his own servant. Now, some of the storms you are going through now is most likely storm generated by your misunderstanding of the instructions or rather your disobedience to the instructions God gave you. I want you to take a minute and track back your life. Where did you turn out God's instructions? And start doing something else away from what he wanted you to do. That's the main reason why I'm reading these scriptures for you today. And they said to one another, Come, let us cast loss, and we may know on whose account this evil has come upon. Now, from verse 7 we now realize these people are witches. Because they are casting out lots. Kamari. Casting lots. You know those those dices that uh, spiritists do. They throw down there and then they watch who, what is who, what is what. Now, this is what they were doing. So they believed every person who is a believer on board can pray and God can answer. And that's exactly what happened. So they realized, ah, Jonah is not praying. And they were like, my brother, what is wrong with you? Don't you have God? Well, it may not be the God they were looking for, but don't you have a a source of refuge? Don't you have a place where you can stand and call for your support system? Don't you have something you can call and talk to us? But Jonah knew he knew one God that had given him an assignment and he defied his instruction. So he knew God was angry with him. And to cut the story short, when he left up to the place where they now found the reason, and Jonah decides to give himself up and say, throw me overboard. The end of the story goes, Jonah found himself in Nineveh, did exactly what God wanted him to do, and the mission was successful. That was the end of the story. But what really is happening here is the original plan God had, the original instructions God gave, and not just original instructions, the place of the assignment. Maybe you are doing something in a place God did not say that is the right place. You need to ask God again. Because some of you, you need to shift from Mombasa and go to Garissa. Some of you, you need to shift from Kisum and go to Kisi. Some of you listening to me now, now, as I'm talking, you need to shift from Nairobi and go to Kakamega. Someone needs to shift from Lagos and go to Pretoria. And someone should shift from Khatoum and go to Lusaka. And someone need to shift from Kinshasa and coming to meet his miracle in Kampala. Another person needs to shift from Kampala and directly reach Nairobi and vice versa. It's a point that we see. Go to the living God and let you get the answer. And before you go, I want to pray for you and pray with you. In the name of Jesus, I decree upon your life that you shall get divine direction. 
every places you missed your roots, I decree direction and instructions from God. Every part of your life that does not make sense, I decree let sense come forth in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. See you in the next episode. Thank you.